Hey everybody, it's me Richard with Nightmares, Tears, Anyone. So, it is Saturday. I'm so bad with the dates, you guys. I think it's the 17th. 17th? Something like that. But, I am, um, you guys, I got some book mail. And I got a big old uh, stack of books for my January TBR. Come back after the intro. Everybody, it's me, Richard. Welcome back. So, uh, yeah, I have got some book mail that I got in the last uh, three days. And then uh, in my last video, you guys, I showed you an amazing gift. Speaking of amazing, oh, yeah, and uh, well, I'll get into my nails in just a minute. So, Thursday, I went and got my hair cut. And um, I I got a manicure. Yes, men do get manicures. Yes, yes, our cuticles get messed up and our nails get messed up. So, yes, I did. Um, I got my manicure for the month. And uh, I told Jade, my hairdresser, I said, you know what? What the hell? Oh, my camera's a little bit crooked. Uh, I said, you know what? For Christmas, let's go color. So, yeah. <laughs> Big deal. I went red and green with some gold glitter on them for the holidays. Yeah, God, Christmas is here in a week. Well, eight, what, eight days, nine days? Um, <clears throat> but in my last video, I showed you guys a really cool gift that somebody had made me, uh, Lisa Wallace, over at the Gloomy Cottage. And you guys, I totally, oh, and speaking of color, I wanna show you guys this new shirt I got. The color in this thing is amazing. And it's very silky. It's very, uh, yeah. So, you know those those acrylic pores, those paintings that people do? And it's weird because I have the longest arms because I'm six foot four. So it's hard to find a shirt that's gonna fit in the sleeve length. So, yeah, but I love it. Um, the colors are great. Uh, the video does not do this shirt uh, um, any justice. The colors are absolutely incredible. But um, back to the gift. So Lisa over at the Gloomy Cottage, she made me this incredible um, gift and I showed it to you guys in the last video. If you didn't see it, I'll put a link right there or the little pop-up in that box to the last video. But I didn't show you guys something. I didn't know that it did this. So I've got it back here. I'm going to shut this light off i know i can there's that light off and then i'm gonna shut this new ring light off yeah i got a new ring light that holds my camera and everything else so i'm going to shut that off but i'm gonna show you what this does i didn't even know this so yeah she lights up and she's absolutely gorgeous. But she looks like she's floating in here. It's so badass, you guys. So yeah, she lights up the most uh, maleficently beautiful and creepy. Well, not even creepy, it's just beautiful. But you guys, you know me in color. Purple and green are my favorite colors. Lisa must have known this, but I mean, come on, she's an artist. Yeah, she's gorgeous, you guys. So yeah, this cap back here, you just turn it and it turns on the color. Yeah, she's really, really badass in the dark. She's really, really cool. Actually, I can find my way through a haunted house with this. Yeah. So once again, thanks to Lisa Wallace over at the Gloomy Cottage. So now let's get back to the lights. Let's turn the lights on. Sometimes we all wish we didn't have to turn the lights on, but uh, yeah, we have to. So let's get this light back on. There we go. So, um, I need to, I'm gonna have to learn the adjustments on this light. So, 
Hopefully I don't look like a smurf in this. Let me see. That looks a little bit more flesh tone. But sorry about this, you guys. I just plugged it in for the first time. I don't know why I should have did it before I did the video, but I didn't. So, hey, you guys are part of the, the daily crazy thing. So, I know you guys can hear my uh, uh, squeaky little chair. So, first off, um, those of you that used to follow my old channel, in 2020, 2020 or 2019, God, I can't remember. I've read so many, uh, hundreds and hundreds of books. I got turned on to a new author, and, uh, his name is A. Lopez Jr. He, uh, lives in Arizona and, uh, native of Texas. Don't quote me on that. I might be wrong, but I read two of his books, um... Actually, let me throw my glasses on. So, sorry if it looks really dark over here, you guys. But, uh, there's another whole bookcase over there. Yeah, Florida ceiling full of books. And I don't have those lights like I have right up there on the top of that bookshelf yet. So, sorry, it's kind of dark over there. But, back to A. Lopez Jr. So, in, um... Well, I'll just open it. Yeah, this came out in 2017, but I got turned on to one of the most creepy ass, and yes, it's a chunker. Um, it has got 700, no, six, 645 pages, and it's called Night Dreams. Now, I am going to tell you guys what. This book came out in series, but uh, A. Lopez Jr. sent me the full length book. And uh, very creepy, 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 creepy ass book. I've actually read it twice. I loved it. It's about uh, ghostly and demonic beings going on in a creepy ass insane asylum or mental, mental hospital. But see, she's floating. Yeah, the book was creepy. Um, but yeah, A. Lopez Jr. has become, um, a very good friend, but he wrote in this one, Richard, do the thing you do so well. Enjoy A. Lopez Jr. Now, this book was just the start. Um, he also turned me on to his short stories. He knew I wasn't a short story, uh, fan because I really don't like to read short fiction, Ah, put the glasses back on, but sorry, you're going to guys get that. But um, he also wrote 13 Tales of the Macabre, Purgatory. This book was great. Great, great, great. I did reviews on both of these books. Yes, I did lose the videos when um, I deleted that old channel. But um, anytime I can promote an author that has been so kind to me and whose works I've really, really loved, I'm going to do it. So, uh... Purgatory has 13 tales of the macabre. They're very dark. And uh, yeah, he wrote in this one too. Uh, Richard, thank you for your interest and reading passion. I hope you enjoy A. Lopez Jr. Now, he sent me something over the weekend, you guys. I didn't know this was coming. He did send me an email wishing me a, a Merry Christmas. And uh, you guys, he sent me something again. So... He told me not to share it on my YouTube channel, but you guys, I can't help it. I'm going to promote this guy. Those of you that have never read him, check out A. Lopez Jr. Jr. Um, here's how his name looks. A. Lopez Jr. on Amazon. All of his works are on there. They're in paperback, e-format, Kindle, all that good stuff. But you guys check him out. He's a really, really, really good author. But uh, he sent me, I got this. Um, so he said, you know, let's get scared at the top. And then Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Ace Hill Inc. Um, so, <laughs> Junior, I hope you don't get mad that I'm doing this. 
But I want to promote you, dude, and I want to say thank you to your face. So this is the way we can do it. We do talk on the phone, but hey, I want to say it to your face. And I want to, you know, so it says, Richard, first off, one to wish, this is on the same piece of paper. Uh, first off, want to wish you and yours the very best of the holidays, even in these troubled times. I want to thank you for what you do in the horror community and for your passion and enthusiasm. It keeps us writers on point and creating. Yes, that, that next project, always creating. These little versions of my short stories, pocketbook collection, I call them, are for you. Not so you will put on your YouTube channel. And he underlined it. <laughs> yeah, he underlined it right there. But I had to, you guys. I, I wasn't going to keep this from you guys. But just for your reading pleasure, thanks again and happy holidays, A. Lopez Jr. So I just want to say thank you so much. So this is what he sent me, you guys. Now, um, th this one, uh, I don't know if these go in an order, but there's four books here. This is the new one that comes out December 21st, I believe, 21st or the 23rd. This is First Hunt. Unseen evil is the worst kind. And uh, yes, like always, he wrote to Richard, stay out of the woods. A. Lopez Jr. This um, says First Hunt. A family hunting trip, an unseen evil, a weekend starting out as fun, gone horribly wrong. A father plans a hunting trip for his son, Benjamin, on his birthday. Along for the ride are his dad's two best friends and regular hunting mates. With Benjamin excited to take his first hunting trip, he jumps in with the three men he has hooked up, looked up to in his young life. This is so funny. I'm really, really excited to read this one because my great-nephew, uh, Ryan, he just turned... F oh, my God. 15? 14? I'm so bad, you guys. Um... I do know, 14 or 15, but he, he probably won't watch this, so he probably won't care. But he just went on his first hunting trip last year. Actually, at, at um, I think at October, Halloween time this, uh, this year. Uh, they hit the road to hunt elk in a remote location deep in the wintry Arizona forest. After they arrive, they settle in and set their plans for the hunt. Soon after, one of them discovers an old abandoned shack deep in the woods, one with a hellish evil inside. Soon, things change and their weekend is turned upside down and surviving is the only way out. Told in the first person from Benjamin's point of view, this story will take you down a dark path to the unbelievable ending. Always stay on the path. Now, you guys, these are really, really quick reads. Um, this one only has... 91 pages so uh yeah you guys these are all um junior uh calls them short stories i don't know if these would qualify as novellas or not but then uh there's another one till death do us part uh oh and i just dropped the bookmark out of it yeah all of these come with really really he he sent me really cool bad dang it really badass uh bookmarks but the man is just really genuous. Genuous. Uh, uh, generous and genuine. So, this one is called Till Death Do Us Part. This is a zombie short story. Kind of looks like L.A. right there. And then there's uh, The Last Mile. Winning comes with a price. This one he wrote to Richard. The finish line is not the end. A. Lopez Jr., and then this one really, 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 really sounds great. Well, they all sound great because I really love his writing, but this one's my inhuman condition. Crazy will change you if you let it. Um, these are all available. Like I said, uh, um, this one says to Richard, small towns hide dark secrets. This one's got great uh, artwork on the inside. These kind of books scare the shit out of me about the woods and places where you've never been before. Those are the last kind of places that I want to get lost in. So once again, I want to shout out a huge thank you to A. Lopez Jr. You guys, if you've never read him, check him out. I'll put a link down below in the description to his Amazon author page. But you guys, check out Night Dreams. It 
is so good and it's so 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 creepy so once again i want to shout out a huge huge thank you to junior so um another thing here's the other two books i got in the mail um right up on that top shelf i don't know if you can see them or not but in the 70s late 70s early 80s i got turned on to david lippincott's writing now he first started writing uh like conspiracy thriller novels you know like um the armageddon books and they aren't religious they're not religious horror they're not that christian horror um these are actually they were thrillers then he started writing a uh, horror and he wrote the home and he wrote unholy morning and savage ransom and great author but one that i never had well i did have a copy but i think i gave it to somebody and i never got it back so on the over the weekend i did get uh this book in the mail it's a used book which is fine with me it's from 1980 and uh this is david lippincott's dark prism very creepy ass looking nun with a scary scary but the copy that i had originally the eyes were cut out and then on the inside was just a black uh with her with her floating eyes now this was originally published in the uk in great britain under black prism and that was where it was first uh but yeah i got a copy it's kind of tore up a little bit not bad but it was only six bucks i got it from um thrift books that one came in the mail and then I'm sure a lot of you guys ordered this one. This was one of my favorite horror authors and I've got all of her horror books down there. Uh, um, I got four or five of them courtesy of Timmy over at Lost Cunningham. He sent me uh, like brand new copies of them, but we all love Ruby Jean Jensen. This was her very first published book and it's called The House That Sam Ale Built. Now, this is not the original cover. This is the 2021 reprint that was just printed, that just came out on Tuesday. Uh, this originally came out, I believe, let me put my readers on. She's been writing forever. Um, this originally was published in 1974. It was her first book, but uh, it's so funny because it says, Welcome to Tara's Nightmare in the House that Samael Built. Ruby Jean authored more than 2 million sold books. Ruby Jean earned the title of Queen of Horror during the 1980s and 90s with 20 published books by Zebra. The 10 other published novels, The House that Samael Built, first one in 1974, was her first success. There's a picture of her. We have lost Ruby Jean. She's no longer with us. But, um, so yeah, you guys, I'm sure a lot of you ordered this book as I did. It came out, it's probably not going to be her good old horror about creepy, creepy, creepy ass dolls like we've all learned to um, love and look forward to reading. But yeah, that's what I got over the weekend. Then, um, I'm getting pretty long here, so I got to cut this short. So, I normally do not do TBR lists and you guys know why because when I set a TBR list I can never stick with it I can never never stick with it so I just read what I want to read when I want to read it and I do a review to you guys and um you guys I forgot to tell you at the beginning of the video but if you do guys if you guys do like horror as much as I do hit that subscribe button right there ring that bell so you get notifications of when I post another one so you don't miss out on anything uh, I cannot believe I did my nails I usually do them black at Halloween time for my part of my costume but this I just had to go with the glitter you guys yeah you know me I'm crazy I'm I'm I'm, I'm not afraid of color I'm not afraid you guys have seen color in my hair so let's get to my but I do want to have a, a kind of a TBR list for January now you guys know I'm a huge uh, Disney villain fan mostly Maleficent but I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now two of these books eight of them are in the Serena Valentino Disney villain books and I'm going to show them to you really quick and yes she's the author of all of them and then two of the other ones um, it does have a first book um, I 
it's up there on that bookshelf. I didn't grab it down. And speaking of Ryan, my great nephew, he sent me um, a copy of the first book that he had bought at one of his school book fairs. So it meant the world to me. He did send it to me. And he sent that to me in paperback, and then I do have the hardback. But this second book in this series came out when the movie came out, the second movie. So this is kind of a sequel. This is by Elizabeth Rudnick. Uh, this one came out in 2019. This is Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. Now, this came out with the second movie. Um, so that's one. And then this is the third one I need to still read. This is Heart of the Moors. Very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book uh, by Holly Black. This is another Maleficent Mistress of the Dark book. And I'm going to read you really quick. Now, I'm not going to read you the uh, synopsises, the synopses of all these books because I do have eight there. F six, I think I've already read, but I have to catch up and finish the two in the series. So this one, as you can tell, has a picture of the castle from the movies. Uh, it, this is called Heart of the Moors, an original novel from number one New York Times bestselling author Holly Black. You know what? I'm not even going to read the synopsis because uh, if you guys are interested, you guys can check these books out on Amazon. So the series, though, that I want to show you guys is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous series. Beautiful copies, beautiful books, beautiful books. Um... The only flaw that I hate about these books is they have those matte, um, soft, like velvet co covers. Beautiful books. Um, so, these came out. How am I going to do this quickly so I can get through these? Let me put them right there. I don't want them to tip over. So, this first one came out in... Um, I had this written down. This came out in 2009. This was the first one. Fairest of all. The funny thing is about this first book, this book is about, um, it says right here, well, you guys, if you're a Disney fan, you know who it is. A Tale of the Wicked Queen. Now, this one was bought when it came out. We were at Disney World and I happened to see it in one of the gift stores. I bought it and I read it on the way home on the airplane. Now, these books, all eight of them, have got the most amazing covers. They've got a beautifully painted picture as we all know the villain to look. And then when you flip to the inside cover, it shows the scary side of what they look like. Yes. So, um... The first one, like I said, they're all written by um, Serena. Yeah, Serena Valentino. And she has written all of them. So, you guys, they're absolutely incredible books. This is the first one. Like I said, came out in 2009. Um, the next one is the second one in the series. This one came out in 2014, I believe. 2014. This is The Beast Within, A Tale of Beauty's Beast. There he is in all of his grouchiness on the cover. And these are, these are embossed. Beautiful books. The cover looks like that. He was so cute. He was so cute in an animated film. Yeah, he was cute. The third one, one of my favorites. I've read this one twice. This one came out in 2014. This is one of my favorites. Love, love, love this character. Poor Unfortunate Souls. How can you not love Ursula? Yeah, how can you not love Ursula? So there she is in all of her evilness. There she is in her prettiness. Yeah, there she is in her prettiness. She was such a bitch though. And if you guys have seen the original cut of the animated film, here's a little bit of Disney trivia for you. If you've never seen the original cut of Disney's The Little Mermaid, that scene where you see her in her prettiness is on the boat. And the little uh, man who is granting Ariel and Prince Eric their wedding vows 
he gets a little erection. And yes, you can see it in the movie. It definitely shows up. Um, you can also link or find the clip. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just some, just some funny Disney uh, trivia. And if you notice on the cover of the VHS cover, I'll pop it up right there. In the castle right up there is a very large male phallic symbol. <laughs> they did re-release it a couple years later and they changed the drawing of the castle and cut that out. But yes, if you can get a copy of the original cut on VHS, that phallic symbol is in the castle. Third book in the series. My all-time favorite of them. This one came out in 2017. Mistress of All Evil. In all of her beautiful, beautiful purple and greenness. The cover on the inside is her as the dragon. These books are beautiful. The books are gorgeous. So well written. Incredibly well written. Very quick reads. Some of them, um, they've got a very big typeface um, on the inside. Not very many lines. But some of them, like this one, is almost 400 pages. But uh, this one is the fourth in the series. This came out in 2000. This is called Mother Knows Best, A Tale of the Old Witch. This is the tale of, um, yeah, this one came out in 2018. This is the story of Rapunzel's mother. There she is in her uh, prettiness. Here she is in her bitchiness. She was not a pretty old lady either. Um, read that one, read the first four. Actually read the first five. Here's book six. Love this cover. Um, the Odd Sisters. See, they're kind of soft, but they leave your fingerprints and I hate that. Uh, this is the Odd Sisters. There's the poison apple. On the inside, it is eaten and rotten. And you can see the eye, nose, and partial mouth of the skull. The books are, the, the covers are beautiful. The covers are just worth buying the hardbacks for themselves. Make sure they are the ones with the inner uh, cover art. This one, I started, and on the inside of this, as well as all the others, there's very, there's very cool artwork in them. But this one, I got to page uh, 40, and then I don't know why I didn't uh, finish it. But see, there's the three odd sisters up there. Um, this, I still have to read this one, which is number six, and then I have these next two I still have to read. So this is what I want to finish up on in January. So, book seven, Evil Thing. As you can tell, that is Cruella de Vil in all of her prettiness, as much as pretty she could get. There's her evilness. <laughs> yeah, that's book seven. Then last but last, last but not least, book eight. Now this one just came out in 2021. Uh, yeah, this just came out in June of 2021. This is Cold Hearted, um, a tale of the wicked stepmother. Once again, there she is in her evilness. She was just a bitch and evil all the time, I thought. And then, there she is as Lady Tremaine. So yeah, she was the wicked stepmother and she was Lady Tremaine. She was Lady Tremaine when she was nice to the townspeople, but she was never really that nice. She was horrible, horrible to Cinderella. But see, this is what I was talking about, these book covers. Let me see if I can show you. So right, see right here how they leave your oil and fingerprints? That's the only bad thing about these matte book covers. So that is it, you guys. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out to A. Lopez Jr. for sending me the books. A huge shout out one more time to Lisa Wallace over at the Gloomy Cottage. And you guys, as always, let's get scared. Pick up a good scary book. 
live your life as a book. Just don't ever turn that last page, you guys, because like I tell you all the time, when you turn the last page, it's over. I will see you before Christmas. Uh, Christmas is next week. Hopefully Krampus is not coming to any of you. I know he's not coming to me this year, but I do know some people that Krampus is coming to. So one more time, you guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Richard with Nightmares, Tears, Anyone. I'll see you later. Pick up the Disney villain books and get the hard covers. They're absolutely gorgeous. Take care, you guys. I'll see you. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for giving me this almost 30 minutes out of your time. Take care. Bye.